All right, everybody, welcome back to the office. And uh, Q of the day, it is a uh, it is a basic question, but it's uh, more something that we should go over more, especially as more and more people are coming into our uh, cryptocurrency digital asset space. So these are like super important to actually answer those and just uh, take a step back. No crypto holder left behind, I guess. So uh, first of all, this is a, a Dan Clip exclusive. Uh, Dan Clips was a secondary channel that we started because, well, for two reasons. First of all, uh, people, time is a factor, right? So sometimes over at, at, uh, on Digital Asset News, I talk a little bit too much and uh, it goes for like 30, sometimes 40 minutes. So over here, we break one of the clips so it's faster for everybody. The second thing is if something happens to our primary channel, we have a secondary channel, which is a backup. And uh, hey, YouTube likes to, uh, for some reason, uh, dismember YouTube uh, or cryptocurrency channels. Don't know why, but uh, here we are. So this is our, our little backup. So the question today is from Miranda and she says, Hey, Dan, I thought you had a video on how to transfer from Voyager to Celsius. Is there any way you could show this? I'm nervous as I'm new and will be my first time transferring anything. So great question, Miranda. And, and here's the whole thing. Um, I've been in the game since 2017 and I still get nervous transferring Pretty much any amount of cryptocurrency out there because it's it's i mean we don't do it every day like, like like we do with banks we don't you know do wires and things like that so when i'm doing this i mean it's a it's a very simple process let's be honest but you never know you're like well hopefully this you know big i took this to the right address and i, I didn't do like a bitcoin to ethereum or i transferred xrp and i did a memo and i didn't screw that up so it, don't worry every time i do it i I still have a little bit of, a, of a, a little heart palpitation. But I will say this, as time goes on, you do it more, it gets easier and easier, and uh, I think you're gonna like it. So here's what we'll do. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to open up, I'm gonna use my phone, and I'm gonna pop this over on the left side, and I'm going to show you exactly how I do this uh, from Voyager to Celsius. If you don't know, I've already transferred 25% of my entire crypto portfolio into Celsius, the Celsius app. And the reason is, is because I believe in Celsius, what they're doing. I believe in the CEO, Alex Mashinsky. Uh, I did an interview with him this week. And uh, the guy's very dynamic. He's the creator of VoiceOver Internet Protocol. He's already you know, created and sold different billion dollar businesses. So it's not like he's out there going, you know what? I just want to make a bunch of money. Uh, I don't think that's the guy's purpose. And what his purpose is, is to make the world just a little bit better. And that starts with money over internet protocol. Anyhow, let's jump into my phone and I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. Okay, so here we are on my phone. There's my wife. Looking great, isn't she? All right, so um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna open up Voyager and I'm gonna open up Celsius. So Voyager is in my crypto holdings or my wallet. Click on Voyager. So from here, here's, all my, here's my portfolio right now. And uh, not too bad. Hey, you know, Bitcoin almost got the one full one. Ethereum 14, Link Dot, Cardano, USDC, Vet, and Voyager. I, uh, so what I'm going to do, let's, uh, how about this? Let's make it simple. Let's transfer a little bit of Bitcoin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Bitcoin. Actually, I'm going to go back real quick. If I do, if I slide to the right, I can trade Bitcoin. Okay, so if I want to trade Bitcoin, it means I can buy it or sell it. I can't swap it for anything else. That's not how Voyager does things right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just click on Bitcoin and it goes to the secondary screen. And it says, you own 0.99 Bitcoin. Great. So I'm going to transfer a little bit of that. So what do I want to do? Do I want to deposit or withdraw? Well, I'm going to withdraw some Bitcoin. And uh, let's send over, I don't know. 100.0100 and then uh, that'll be like $103, something like that. So in the top right here, we're underneath withdraw Bitcoin, it says tap to paste the Bitcoin address. So this is where all the magic happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Celsius and Celsius always asks for two-factor authentication code. And it's kind of annoying, but guess what? It protects your cryptocurrency, so I'm going to allow it. So what do I do? Well, first, I'm going to go to my Authenticator app. If you don't have this, this is the Google two-factor authentication, and you can set it up in the security settings. I'll do a separate video for that. But this is just a secondary layer to help you with security. And as you can see, every I think it's like every 30 seconds or something like that, the code changes. So I'm going to wait a little bit. And then see here under Celsius, okay, 287, I'm going to tap that. It's going to say copied. I'm going to double click, come over here. I'm going to click paste and in I go. Okay, so here I'm in the Celsius uh, app 
And I got my two low holdings down here, EOS and Celsius. I want to show you everything. Uh, that's the keys of the castle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on, see that little C in the bottom right-hand corner? I'm going to click on that. It's pretty cool. All these little things pop up. And what I want to do is I want to deposit. So that's in the middle right there. I'm going to deposit some well, Bitcoin. So the first thing that's always going to come up is uh, Ethereum. And I like how it says this. It says, hey, sending other digital asset to this spe specific address will result in permanent loss. I understand. And that's the big thing. So don't send Bitcoin to an Ethereum address or potato coin to a potato foot address or whatever you want to do. Make sure it's the same gosh darn cryptocurrency. Makes sense, right? So I'm going to click on this, this little drop down. I'm going to click on Bitcoin. Boink. And again, only deposit Bitcoin. Sure, I understand. So you see right here where it has this nice handy dandy QR code. You can scan that if you know you're on the uh, uh, desktop. But on Celsius and on Voyager, there's no desktop version, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you could do this with Coinbase. Uh, they have a desktop version, but we just have two uh, smartphone apps. So what we're going to do is we're going to press copy, and it's going to copy this long BC one Q blah 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 UJ four thing. I'm going to double click. I'm going to go over to Voyager. And it says here, tap to paste the Bitcoin address. And boom, there it goes. So what I always like to do is just double check. And I always take a look at the first three or four um, parts of the actual address. So I got BC1Q and then UJ4, something like that. Look over here, BC1Q, UJ4. Okay, that matches up. So I'm good to go. And it's Bitcoin to Bitcoin, so I should be okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to say slide to withdraw Bitcoin. And then it's going to ask me for this. Enter the verification code to confirm. So what do I need to do? Go back to the authenticator, and there's my little guy, Voyager. I'm going to click on that. Copied. And it's already there. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to press confirm. And bang, there it is. Now all I'm going to do, it's going to tell me to open my email client because it's also going to send me an email. This is where security comes into play, right? So if somebody hacks you, they got to hack your email address. They got to hack your phone. They got to get your Google two factor authentication, all that stuff, which is kind of a pain in the tail, right? So I'm going to go to my email and then I'm just going to click on yes, I accept that I'm trying to transfer this. And that's it. And then usually it takes about, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes or so, and it should be in there and you should be okay. So I'm in my email right here and it's going to say, this is how much? Yes, confirm withdrawal and withdraw confirmed. So then we're gonna wait a little bit and uh, that should be it. There is one thing I wanna make mention about Voyager and there's a couple of things. First of all, you can't send every single cryptocurrency from Voyager to another account, to your ledger, to Celsius or to something else. And there's a list, uh, I'm actually, I actually linked that in my uh, exchanges and wallet fees, which you can find in every single video that I do in the description. There's a link, it's gonna look like this. And you can go there and all the different uh, wallets and exchanges I've ever used or I've ever taken a look at, I have a, just an explainer of if I recommend them or not, or if I'm still using them, Voyager and Celsius are my one-two punch. I don't get anything special from them. They don't pay me anything. I just like to use them. Now, there is one caveat and that is this. If you want to go right to Voyager, right to Celsius, you can do so and download their stuff and use it, which is great. Or if you want to, I have affiliate links and you can click on that and that will give you between $10 and $25 depending on which uh, exchange or wallet you want to use. Uh, but it's either way you want to do it, so what, it's all up to you. So for this type of thing with, with Voyager, you can't take every single cryptocurrency off. Now the big ones like Bitcoin and Ethereum, you can definitely take off of the exchange or it's a brokerage, it's not, even, it's not an exchange. Voyager is not a exchange per se. They are just a brokerage. Kind of think of them like Hotels.com. Hotels.com isn't like a hotel chain. It just kind of aggregates all the best hotel prices and go, hey, this is it, so do that one. And that's pretty much uh, Voyager. So um, you can do uh, that and use uh, Voyager itself. But, uh, but for me, I like to also use Celsius because that gives me uh, great interest rates. So, uh, but, Back to uh, a Voyager, you can only take so many different uh, cryptocurrencies off that, off that brokerage. And the other thing is that there is a fee to take different exchanges off of Voyager. And it just depends. Like, like for Link, like for Chainlink, I think it's around 4 or $5 to 
ship it off. And then with Bitcoin, I think it's like three or four dollars or something like that. So some people will complain like, man, that's a lot of money. I mean, to do all that stuff. I mean, if I'm sending 10 bucks and I, and I gotta do four, that's not worth it. And guess what? You were correct. Do not do that. So what I always recommend is, look, it doesn't matter if you send um, you know, 0 0.001 Bitcoin or if you send uh, 1,000 Bitcoin, it is the same uh, transaction fee to get it off, off the uh, brokerage. So just be aware of that uh, I would not, I would definitely not um, send a very little amount. Wait till you have a little bit more. And then, uh, and then if not, if it just sits there, then hey, uh, you're getting interest on it. So not too bad because Voyager also gives you interest. So that is one of the complaints. So I know like uh, our Cardano is one of those that will not be sent off. Uh, XRP, uh, and I believe, I believe VeChain, but I'm not for sure. But um, I have that in the uh, description of that exchange of wallet fees. So that is it. So hopefully uh, for Miranda, that answers the question. And, uh, you know, these are one of those things that um, it is a little bit uh, nerve wracking to send over. Because, I mean, that was just a hundred bucks. But imagine doing that for like a hundred thousand dollars at the click of a button. Can you pull the trigger? Well, you can now because you know how to do it. All right, so that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, there's gonna be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right. I'm not for sure because uh, YouTube controls all that stuff. So uh, uh, check those out. And that's it for today's video. So thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.